Bolton Wanderers were relegated to League One in 2016, their first time in the third tier for 23 years. Having achieved promotion to the Premier League in 2001, they spent 11 seasons in the English top flight before being relegated in 2012. After four years in the championship and what would prove to be insurmountable debts, they slipped to their current position, but at least football-wise, things are looking up under manager Phil Parkinson, with the team sitting third in League One. Under Sam Allardyce, the club achieved back-to-back top-half finishes between 2004 and 2007, and qualified for the UEFA Cup in 2006 and 2007. Eddie Davies took over ownership in 2003, and the club, whilst in debt for amounts varying from £24 million to £40 million, showed encouraging on-field performances. However, following Allardyce's departure in April 2007, five changes of managers saw the club drop steadily from the top tier to the third flight over the next nine seasons. Meanwhile, debt increased to just short of £200 million on Eddie Davies' decision to sell the club in March 2016. Bolton Wanderers is now majority owned by a holding company called Burnden Leisure Limited, which is in turn owned by Dean Holdsworth and Ken Anderson. The pair staged a takeover in March 2016, buying the club from its previous owner, Eddie Davies. The latest financial accounts for the company cover the 12-month period ending on June 30th, 2015, and are as such roughly 20 months out of date predating both the takeover and the writing off of £170 million in debt. They were also published close to a year after their legal due date, which is considered an offence both by Companies House and by the terms and conditions of the EFL, with resulting sanctions remaining a possibility. Bolton generated £30.6 million in revenue, a £7.8 million decrease on the previous year's figures. Staff wages were reported to be £29.4 million and the club generated £2.1 million from player trading and borrowed a total of £19.2 million throughout the 12-month period, making an official loss of £4.6 million for the year, down from an underlying loss of £16 million. Gross debt stood at £199.7 million, with £185.5 million owed to Davies and £14.2 million to other lenders. As it stands, this has been significantly decreased as Davies wrote off £170 million of the debt owed to him when the company transferred to Holdsworth and Anderson. Concerningly, the club are overdue debt repayments with two lenders, totalling at £9.5 million. One of the lenders is Blue Marble Capital Group, who lent Dean Holdsworth's company, Sport Shield, £5 million against the club's assets. A dispute has arisen over the different repayment dates, i.e. when the club has to pay back Sport Shield and when Sport Shield have to repay the loan, though theoretically the repayment is past due and Blue Marble could legally seize the club's assets if they so chose. With a wages to turnover ratio of 96% and annual losses projected, the club are very unlikely to be able to raise the capital to pay off their debts without outside funding. The report does show that Anderson has lent the club money when it's needed, but that he also withdraws it as soon as it's available, acting much like an overdraft. The director's report conveys a hopeful attitude for the coming years, yet this is perhaps negated by the independent auditor's report, which chose to withhold an opinion regarding the accounts due to a lack of satisfactory evidence supporting the director's projections. Worryingly, the auditor also disclosed that they were unable to determine whether adequate accounting records have been kept. The company is legally required to publish its accounts for the following year ending June 30th, 2016, by the end of March this year. Projections show that the club is currently operating at an annual loss rate of £11 million and will likely do so for a further 12 months at least although these projections are fallible since it's difficult to say which league the club will be playing in next season. With next to no ability to raise internal capital, the debts will likely go unpaid unless funds can be raised externally. The future of Bolton Wanderers remains uncertain.